everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial based on the book cover of Silent Echo by Elisa Freelich. I am obsessed with this book cover, and since the book cover revolves around the eyes and the eye makeup, I decided to recreate this look because I thought it would be really fun to do so, and I think that you guys would enjoy it. This book is about a girl named Portia, and Portia is mute. That is until she finds her voice and discovers she's a siren, and it's all about mythology, beautiful writing, music, love. It's just an amazing book, and I think that anybody would really enjoy it because it's just so unique. So for this makeup tutorial, I am not a makeup artist, I'm not very good at makeup, but I decided to give it a shot for you guys because I really wanted to do a makeup look inspired by this book. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Before we start, please apply any of your foundation or cover up as you need. If you do not need it, that's totally fine. But I usually just put some underneath my eyes to get rid of my bags from reading way too late and waking me up way too early. Thank you, reading, for making my eyes look like black holes. I'm okay with that. So once you're all done with that, you're gonna pick up your makeup palette and take the lightest color there. I have a white. White is perfect for this look since it's a very silvery, white, very ethereal look. This is from Maybelline New York. It's a very cheap palette that I just picked up at Target. All my makeup I used today is from Target because Target is awesome and their makeup is very recently priced. And just put it all over your lid. Make sure you get up all the way to the brow because this whole entire look is going to take over this part of your eye, even below and above, so not just on your eyelid. Make sure you really load up on the eyeshadow on your eyelid because that's the part that we're going to be focusing on most with this eyeshadow. Voila. Okay, so next you're going to go back with your white eyeshadow and go underneath your eye. And take maybe a smaller brush for this so you can be more precise. And get E everywhere with it. Don't be afraid to go all out. You can even use your finger if you would like. That might be better and easier to control. So yes, now you're supposed to look kind of weird. I'm pulling it off quite well, aren't I? Next, you're gonna take your eyeliner, and this eyeliner is a silver eyeliner from L'Oreal. I got it at Target, and it is very good because it really shows up on your eyelids and makes them pop, just like how it is on the book. And with this, you're not gonna be lining your eye with it, you're gonna be lining like everything with it because this looks kind of like my replacement eyeshadow for silver because I do not have silver eyeshadow, but I have silver eyeliner, so it works just the same. Now you're gonna go under your eye and you're gonna go like all the way down here. Not just, not just here, but everywhere. Then you're gonna to wanna to smudge it because it'll just look nicer and not as like harsh on your eye. some like silver residue on your fingers so go ahead and don't waste it and just put it up by your brow because it'll make it all shiny and pretty. Next you're gonna want to take a brown or black eyeliner pencil whatever you prefer and you're just gonna line under your eyelid right here on this waterline and then on this waterline. Now you're gonna wanna take your liquid eyeliner. Black is probably the best color for this, but if you have like a blue eyeliner, that'll be really cool with this look too, and you can go really either way. And just align your eyelids, and don't do really a cat eye at the end, just make sure just like your upper eyelid is lined with this black eyeliner.
Okay, so on the cover of the book, the cover model has some eyelashes that are music notes, but since that is very hard to replicate, we're just gonna put music notes on like the sides of her eyes. I think that would look really cool. See, that's cute. It looks really awkward, but it's cute. Yay! Yay, okay, now I did three because I'm like, why not? Let's go all out. Now you're gonna want to take your eyelash curler and curl your eyelashes. Sephora has the best eyelash curlers. I really enjoy them, so that's where I got this one if you're wondering. Next, you're gonna want to take your black mascara, and I'm using Falsies black mascara. I really like it, it really like elongates my eyelashes, and just put it on your eyelashes. Put a few coats because you really want them to stand out against the silver eyeshadow. If you want to, you can put some on your bottom lashes. I don't usually, but I mean, why not? And now for the lipstick. Uh, she has this silver lipstick going on and I don't have silver lipstick, so I'm just gonna take the eyeliner pencil once again. This is like the majority of your look. If you have a silver eyeliner, that you could do this whole entire look pretty much. And just make sure your lips are not wet, make sure they're pretty dry because this won't stick otherwise. And just color it on like a lip liner. So once that is done, your look is complete and you've transformed yourself into the book cover of Silent Echo. I think that I did a pretty good job. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I think it was a really fun thing to do and if you guys want me to do any more of these tutorials as to if you want to know how to create a look on a book cover, let me know in the comments down below. I'm not a makeup artist, but I'll try my best and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!